Okay, so I'm just gonna get this out the way. I am kind of very ill. Like, I, I felt ill for several days. This is the first day I've left my bed in like three days in a row. I made it to the kitchen for the first time in like 72 hours this morning, which I feel like, you know, I deserve a little, a little round, round of applause for that. I've just basically got a really bad cold. Don't worry, it's not the... It's not the thing you can't say on YouTube uh, without getting demonetized, but it is a pretty bad cold and I feel really, really horrible. But I have been wanting to do this video for a while and I figured it actually might be quite relaxing to do whilst I feel and sound like this and look like this. Look at my nose. It's like bright red and that's with makeup on. I have to keep taking the makeup off because I'm using tissues nonstop. So if my eyes start streaming during this video, just ignore it. I'm not crying at how beautiful my build is, although I might be you never know I'm just crying because I feel really really ill I talked to you guys a little bit about this on stream but I was thinking that last year I built the sims mini snow globe which was really freaking cool I had a lot of fun doing it uh, we used a bunch of debug items this is how I looked last year I didn't have a cold and I actually had Christmas decorations up which I do plan on doing very very soon and I thought the snow globe was really really cool it was a big hit and you guys were asking me on stream what are you gonna do for this year's you know festive themed build on another video I did last year actually on Claire and Ali was this little gingerbread build. So this is my gingerbread house here build. I mean, it was it was real life. We literally built a gingerbread. This is my gingerbread house. This is Ali's gingerbread house. It's a throwback to my pink hair. We even put a little little fireworks in them. There's little Lexi Lou brush. Uh, she's actually fluffier than that now. We had a little firework in the roof and it was just really, really fun. I really want to put my Christmas tree up now. We're meant to be this weekend, but it's hard to put a Christmas tree up from bed. It just doesn't really work. So yeah, that's on Clara and Ali. I'll link both those videos in the description below, but I wanted to try and make a gingerbread house in Sims. I know this isn't original. I know a bunch of people have done it, but I figured it was, you know, it made sense this year, especially seen as how I made one in real life. So I was looking at gingerbread houses on Google for some inspiration. When I picture a gingerbread house, I kind of picture like this kind of thing. Or like, you know, this kind of thing, like that. To make it look like a gingerbread house in Sims and not just like a regular house, I think we're gonna have to really hum up like the gingerbread and white theme. But I really like reds and greens in there too because they're just the Christmassy colors. I also like the idea of making it look like it's got little sweets on it. I mean, look at this. The queen makes a banging gingerbread house. Her gingerbread house is so much better than mine, even with her like older hands. Look at the detail on this. Did she do it or did one of the royal servants? We'll never know. I also really liked this more modern house, but genuinely, I feel like in sims is just gonna it's like a mid-century house i think yeah mid-century modern cookie house it looks amazing but in sims it's just gonna look like a house in the snow so i think we have to go traditional gingerbread house something like this i think would be really good and we can add like the little lights and stuff too i'll be using debug items as we did last year and i found a little lot in here in winden but no new crest and i've made it snow and we are all ready for our little cozy builds so when i first was thinking of this i was kind of thinking i would like to make my first ever a-frame house because i've never made an a-frame house in the sims so i thought that would be really cool if you ever want to make an a-frame house kind of do it like this i don't actually know how it works like do you have to just like hide the roof can you still see it? okay so it kind of works like that but what i've seen some other people do is they kind of do and I want to do this in future to do like an A-frame house and still be able to see inside your house. They do the this part of the house first and then they go to roof and you do this. Look at that. She's been researching. She has been researching. Yes, yeah, so you kind of do it like that and then you stick this on top. And that's kind of the other way to do an A-frame house. But as tempting as that is, I would like to kind of save my first A-frame house for like another build. And instead, I'm just going to go for a very traditional house. I think the way we make this look gingerbread is to keep things simple and, you know, go for this kind of very traditional shape. Although I'm looking at that and I'm like, I actually don't know if we'd be able to do a roof like that. But we're gonna try that's what it's all about so i'm kind of basing this on a gingerbread house that my aunt once brought to my mom's house so every year my mom used to do christmas after we lost my granddad so it was a bit of tradition that previously we'd always go to my grandma's house and then when my granddad died my mom kind of took over from that and i think it's a lot of work doing christmas our family is quite big there's usually about 20 of us but my mom kind of took over so i always kind of link my old house that we used to live in in leeds 
with my mom's Christmases. And nowadays, they all take things in turns. Actually, I think this year, we're at, with Ali's parents this year. But I think this year, they're actually going to like a pub for Christmas, which I think will be really cool. But yeah, usually they kind of take it in turns. And everyone brings like a little, like something. And then the host does the turkey, which is really cool. And growing up, all of my cousins and would all like come to our house and I don't know. I just, I'm a Christmas lover. I feel like you're either a Christmas lover or a Christmas hater. And I am definitely a Christmas lover. For me, it's like a really like family time. And I especially love Christmases with my side of the family just because, you know, they're my thumbs. But I also really love Christmas with Ali's side of the family. This will be our first like Christmas together since getting married as well, which I think is really special. I'm realizing that the stuff from Cottage Living is kind of perfect for this and i want like these kind of like cute little little windows although they are kind of big but look you see with the little shutters so we might just go for like a one window stitch but then that looks mm. okay we're running into issues straight away love that for us what about if we kind of did this instead and we sort of made a window and then that kind of fits although we could also do that with this so it's which one do we prefer can you shrink a window no you can't oh which sucks because that would have been perfect okay let me try something because the other thing i'm thinking is if you're like building with gingerbread everything is going to need to be really big or like chunky it should have like a chunky feel or else like how would you build it so like, you see these are like quite thick and chunky so i want something that feels like that and i also need to think about the color because the color is going to be really important it should be that like bright orange gingerbread goodness fun story and i wonder if anyone else had this i hated gingerbread so much like i absolutely hated gingerbread growing up i don't understand how anyone liked ginger i thought it was the grossest taste on earth now now i actually like ginger so my views on gingerbread have changed have your taste buds to gingerbread changed let me know in the comments below i was gonna try avoid custom content with this but this kind of has the right shade of gingerbread which is that right there i'm also feeling like the whole thing should be on like a base like a foundation base because you kind of have that right you have like the base that you carry the gingerbread around on so i'm gonna make the base first which i like as well because when we did our snow globe that was kind of on like the um obviously it was a globe so it was inside the globe so i like the idea of it being like a little bit contained okay there we go and then i guess if it's made out of gingerbread but then you've got the icing so i reckon you actually do a lot of details with the icing so i'm thinking i'd need a window that was only brown and white because it can only be the icing and because you wouldn't be able to do red shutters on a gingerbread house really let's face it so it's gonna have to be more like that because you know it wouldn't be a clair chevron build if i didn't like realism get in the way of a good design i also feel like the walls need to be higher but not that high maybe there. okay i'm trying all brown and i'm gonna like will the snow set on the windows i don't think it will will it i also want it to do like a little fence but I need like a chunky fence that looks like it could be made. Yeah, mm, I want the fence to go like this because that's how like, okay, that's how I was, ima I imagined that my gingerbread house was way more detailed than it was clearly. But this kind of has it, look, with the candy canes at either side. Does the Sims have candy canes? I hope it does. Okay, this would literally be the most impressive house ever. <laughs> I need a roof that looks like candy as well. Um, Sorry, gingerbread. Got candy on the brain now. Ooh, this could be tough. How have I not used this glass roof that much either? It's so pretty. Okay, we've got that, which kind of does look like candy. Uh, <laughs> it kind of does look like gingerbread, but is it too light compared to the rest of the house? Maybe. I also think the edges should look like this, like see the white. And we'll be able to put like these on the spandrels. That like thick white should definitely be on there. Because I guess snow will land on the roof and stuff too, which is going to help. Okay, I kind of like the roof that we had before, like the double roof. I'm going to put that back on. That's looking cute. Let's find a cute door. Oh, and I've fallen into the classic trap, haven't I? Of if you go bigger on the walls, you can't use the cute doors unless I just like... No, that's nonsense, Claire. You can't do that. But gingerbread houses do have big doors. No, they don't. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm seeing how it looks if I go totally white. Basically, what's happened is I hate it. I'm gonna try to add more white. And I think my gingerbread is too pale. There's not enough ginger in it. It's wishy-washy gingerbread. I'm like looking through these colors. Like, do I even know what gingerbread looks like? Like, if I leave it, will snow form? Will it just go on top of the roof and then I don't have to worry about it? Because that would be great. Let's add some like roof decor. That might help it just look less because i was looking look you see this is individual tiles that's how i did my roof i drew all this look 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 and then the snow went on top and so did ali so it might be big brain why do the colors have to be so whack okay i'm really hoping that being after being out in the snow for a little while it's like a little bit more vibey okay so I feel like at this point, I need to go into debug and find cool things to add. Oh, wait, I need to do the roof first, don't I? So can I make these white? Oh, I can't make them white. Gross. Can I make you white? Mm, you're meant to look like icing. Okay, apparently this is white. Let's see how it looks on. Because this is meant to look like, you know, like the cute decor that you like place along the roof. You're like, which, which? Which, which is actually way harder than you think it's going to be genuinely. I feel like I can bring valuable, you know, gingerbread house building experience to the table. Although I don't think it's going to look as good as the one I was talking about before that my Aunt Sheila made, which was literally amazing. I don't know how she did it. We were all staring at it as kids, like daring each other to break a little bit off because we just wanted to eat it and... We're kids, um, you know, sometimes when you're a kid, low-key evil. Okay, icing it intensifies, great. Before we delve into debug, let's see what is actually like classed as being like Christmas stuff. Because there is this holiday pack. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we might be, we might be getting back into it again. Because we've got these little nutcracker fellas. And I put a little Santa in the door, two polar bears, and then I had like, oh, a roof! Uh, not a roof, a chimney. Why did I just forget about a chimney? Okay, we'll get back to the chimney. But let's... Wait, are you a sandman? No, I want a regular snowman. You're such a great snowman, but you'll need a sand. I think I can get snowman in debug, actually. Let's have, like, a little cute tree sitch. We do have these snowmen, but, like, those ones are just better. I could literally try and recreate this. But I can put these on the window. <laughs> I'm just copying what I did last year. I'm ill, so you can't stop me. Okay, it still doesn't look that gingerbready. No, I hate that snowman. It's it's a stupid size as well. Okay, chimneys are on. Also added a bit of spice to our front bits here because I don't know, just thought it would look kind of cute. And I'm keeping things like fairly big on this compared to what I, I usually shrink all of these because I think they're stupidly big. But with this one, I mean, I'm shrinking it a little bit. But I'm keeping things big. The mints have been drawn, you know, with the bug, with the sugar in it. And you've got like uh, the icing sugar and you squeeze it. I know how difficult that is. So I'm bringing that experience to this. This is why I feel like to build a gingerbread house in The Sims. Build one in real life. Feel that pain. Experience that pain. Internalize it. And then make it in The Sims. Okay, it's looking kind of mental. Which is exactly what it should be looking like. Also, I've got, I've got three roof types. <laughs> I don't know why I have three roof types. Oh, wait a minute. What about a white roof? I like it. You can go white or you can go gingerbread. But I kind of like white because, you know, that's how ours ended up looking, particularly mine. And let's face it, mine was way better than Ali's. So I'm thinking it's looking real cute. Okay, let's search candy and see what comes up. Did you know? Okay, Halloween candy. Wait, a candy jar could be quite cool. Like a big jar of candy. Because don't forget, this is actually miniature. I know it's a bit like... Gotta get your head around it, but pretend it's really small. That's what you gotta do. It's the only way this is gonna make sense. So just, just go with it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have some candy outside the house. Is there no- I swear there's a candy cane. It'll be debug, but where? What would it have come with? Why would candy be in The Sims? <laughs> Am I gonna have to search for every debug? Which pack? Seasons. Oh my gosh, debug seasons. Oh, <gasps> I can have little piles of snow. Oh! <gasps> Love, love, love. I know this is meant to be just like, we just use flour. Do we use flour? No, we use icing sugar dusting. So we can have some of this like piled up a little bit around the house. I think that's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, yes. Snow. We had snow the other day. It was in the garden. I missed it, apparently. Apparently we had snow. Ali took a picture and showed me it, but I was just in bed like, oh, okay. She'll love me some snow that I can't see because I'm too sick. And I am still not noticing a single candy cane. 
Just putting that out there. I can't see candy canes. I don't get it. Gotta have a good old Christmas tree. This one's already decorated. Oh, oh, you're a bit too small, but then you're a bit too big. Uh, how about you? How do you look? This is an old debug items. I do have crackers. Though, I was reading somewhere that apparently, and I don't think this is true, but someone was saying that crackers are an English thing. Is that true? Because I think crackers exist everywhere. I don't think crackers are English. I refuse to believe this. Because apparently it's a meme that English people on Christmas all wear a little paper crown, which we totally do because you, you get it out the cracker. But surely everyone does. <laughs> is this an English thing? I don't know. Is it a European thing? I don't know. You guys are going to have to enlighten me on the comment in the comments. Do you... That cracker is so haphazardly placed. Do you take the little heart of the cracker and wear it on Christmas Day? Because I feel like, you know, that's so normal. Okay, I feel like maybe the crackers are a bit mental. But also, I really want to get crackers involved. Especially because I got ID'd when I was like 25 buying crackers in Waitrose. They were like, yep, you, it's fireworks, so you need to be 18 or over. And that was embarrassing because I didn't have any ID. Because who would have thought you needed ID to buy crackers? Lunacy. Okay, is the cracker? I think the cracker's too much. Don't forget, we'll have Christmas decorations still to go on. I'm going to go for... A small cracker just hanging out there. How else will you get your mini sewing kit for the next year without a cracker? Or those little frogs that you touch their butts and they jump. How else would you get a butt frog? Okay, it's getting there. It's uh, it's taking shape. I still I've cannot find my candy cane, which I'm definitely starting to uh, get a little bit stressed about. I got holly though, just kind of hanging out. And a uh, reindeer made from flake. You guys know the Cadbury's flake. Best chocolate taste, but you it's almost impossible to eat because it just breaks apart. Oh, and oh, look at this little fella. Is it a bit much to have? Because I was using this one before, but there's an even taller one. Is it a bit much just to have two at the side? Am I going, is it a bit mud? I don't know. Kind of could go a bit mud. Or maybe just in the garden, just, just there like, hello. Yeah, I'm going to put them in the garden. I'm doing it. Okay, seasons we've looked through. Did not have what I was looking for. So let's try base game debug. Of which I think there is a lot. I think most of the debug in the game is base game. Base game did have no snow. Do you have a candy cane? Am I kind of hallucinating that candy canes even exist in Sims? I don't know if they do. Hmm. It's not looking good, gang. Let's try Snowy Escape. That might have some cute stuff. <gasps> like this little cutie pie. You can get involved. Oh, hello. You look like a little snow sculpture. I wish you were a bit smaller though, friend. You're kind of kind of imposing there. I might get some landscaping. You can hang out here for now. Now, Snowy Escape also has the snow trees, which I just think are going to look really cute in the background. They serve no purpose other than to look real cute. So let's stick some of those around. Also some new snow piles. I'm kind of thinking it could be a nice way to like blend the edges a little bit. I don't know, am I overthinking that? Maybe. Okay, that definitely has helped us pad things out a little bit. It's starting to look very atmospheric, especially with the snow. Look, the snow in live mode is looking cute. But I still feel like there's way more to do. Okay, thank you, Snowy Escape. You've been lovely. Cottage living. Now, I really want to do a mushroom house. <laughs> but I feel like I can't make a mushroom house at this time of year. It's just it's just nonsense. We'll have to wait for spring until that one. <gasps> oh, the crackers come. Wait, no, they don't. Sorry, ignore me. <laughs> I was like, the crackers come with this pack. It makes sense that only maybe it is an English thing after all. But I'm not sure. We do need to get to the bottom of that one. And look, I keep adding like cute stuff that I'm like, that'd be really tiny. That'd be really difficult to cut out. So I'll, no, I'm gonna leave it. <gasps> oh <no. laughs> I'm like, why does it look like hell? It's that, let's get rid of it. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's the Christmas tree. Uh, the, no, that's not a Christmas tree. It's this little fella. Why are you so red? That is actually just wild. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Is it you? Wait, who is it? Who's doing that? Who is red? Oh, it's you. Oh, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I change him? You. No, you're like a horror movie. You're not allowed. Go away. It's always the ones you least expect, isn't it? Okay, I'm in Realm of Magic now, and there's this yellow glow. Let's see how this looks at night time. Yeah, okay. So when I made my little um, gingerbread house, I put my phone inside and put the light on. I don't know if you can even tell. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can barely tell. But it's meant to have like a little glow from the inside, which I think is really important. So I've put the little glow in there. Okay, I'm getting seriously stressed out by the lack of candy canes now. I'm going to buy the box of decorations and have our friend here put them up so I can see how everything looks with decorations on. So select everyday decorations. Let me do a hot pause here. So... The eaves are like underneath. They're the ones that I want to look like candy canes. Do I have candy cane eaves? Hmm. Maybe this will give me the right kind of vibes. And then fence. Let's go for... Oh, but I kind of want to do these. Wait, spandrels, eaves. What's the difference between a spandrel and an eave? Okay, let's just do one at a time because I'm thick. <gasps> okay. No. <laughs> right. I want icicles. Do icicles, please. Okay. I got my icicles great. So let's maybe do candy cane on the fence instead. Why do my why are my fences naked? Why are my fences naked? That didn't work. Okay, moving on swiftly. We'll, we'll find out what a spandrel is once and for all. Is that a spandrel? Do I have spandrels? I don't think I have any spandrels. Nope, no spandrels. Okay. Foundations. Oh, I meant to put something over the foundation as well. Okay. I'm gonna stop you right there, friendo, because I meant to um, dress my foundations. Do I make it look like it's on like a little board? Like a carry around board, I wonder. Because that is low key what I'm picturing. Like, it's usually on like a flat piece of cardboard, though. Ugh. Oh my gosh, a glowing found it. Oh my gosh, it's nothing. Oh, it looks so cool. It's kind of random, though. Okay, I want it to look like it's on like a big old chunk of foundation. Uh, sorry, chunk of plastic. So there we go. But I want to decorate the plastic with candy canes. Please let me finally have some candy canes somewhere. Please. Oh, finally, candy canes. Okay, brilliant. Whatever these freeze freezes freezes are. Let's go for this one. Oh, the roof has snow on it, by the way. Snow on the roof. They've gone ham with the ice and sugar, which is exactly what we wanted them to do. So that is absolutely perfect. And I don't think I have any fizzy things because nothing has changed. Oh, well, what I really wanted was the icicles. So I'm happy with that. I kind of just want to put some finishing touches on that. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, we're just going to go calm. I'm going to go all in. Finish with a bang. And I think we are. Oh, you go away, sir. <laughs> You're not involved in this. There we go. It's my little Christmas themed. Oh, geez. Just in time for December gingerbread house last year i made a physical one this year we made a sims one let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me show you how it looks come nightfall hopefully the snow keeps keeps snowing here's the back by the way i didn't completely neglect the back there is a bit going on but it's all about that front view really sorry i just realized i really hate how the front of those windows looks in the snow like it's so harsh so I'm just going to place some debug snow like to try and like look like it's sort of piled and breaks it up a little bit. Like it's got caught on the wind, on the window, sorry, in like a blizzard. Because otherwise it's just, it's too harsh. Okay, that looks bad. I see it's got like a bit of a wave to it. It looks more like ice and sugar. I think so anyway. So let me know what you guys think of my little gingerbread house. I hope, I know December's only just begun and I know not everybody is a big Christmas person, but I am and I hope this managed to put you in the Christmas mood. If you are feeling Christmassy, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys also want to have a go at making a gingerbread house, I would love to see them. So please go ahead and tweet me if you do make one. I'm sure it'll make me feel better seeing as how I'm actually during this video, my voice has come back a little bit, but I'm going to go have a big vitamin drink now and I'm hoping to be back on form for you guys soon. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed this build and i will see you guys soon bye